Arkansas versus Alabama. 12 o'clock game in Tuscaloosa. This be Alabama's homecoming game. Uh, Alabama just coming off a hard-fought win against Texas A&M. A lot of people in the country have pit, uh, predicted A&M to actually win this game. The big top coming into that game was, you know, the front seven. Texas A&M front seven. And they showed up big. They played a very good game. Arkansas. Uh, Arkansas. A lot of expectations for Arkansas coming into this season. A lot of uh, expectations for Arkansas last season. Right now, they're not living up to, to the expectations. Right now, I think Arkansas fans are very getting impatient with Sam Pittman. I like Sam Pittman, but right now, Sam Pittman, it's time to start doing something. Uh, I think you have under exceeded expectations going on two years in a row now. But I will say for Arkansas, y'all have played a respectable schedule so far. Got a, lot, got a loss to BYU, which I don't think y'all should have lost that one. I think y'all should have pulled that one out. Uh, play LSU close. Play the Ole Miss close. But you just didn't come out on the win end. So right now for Arkansas, for Sam Pittman and Arkansas right back, because I think this game means a lot. Uh, for Arkansas, uh, I think that was expecting a whole lot more this year. Out of that offense, KJ Jefferson, Jefferson, Rocket Sanders. Rocket Sanders has been a no-show. He's been a no-show. Uh, not even the leading rusher on this team right now. But KJ Jefferson, I will say he has been. I, I feel like he has been playing well. But he has given up quite a bit of interceptions, and this is not the game you want to play against Alabama. Because Alabama causing a lot of turnovers. But for his sake, I feel like on the offensive side of the ball, the only thing he is is KJ Jefferson. So right now he's forced to do a whole lot. He's forced to do a whole lot. For Alabama, Miro just dropped for 321 passing yards. Coming into that game against AM, who would have thought Jalen Miro would have passed for over 300 yards and had negative rushing yards and still won the game. Alabama had 14 penalties for 99 yards, still won the game. But that defense, the defense is keeping Alabama in there, keeping us in the game. Caleb Downs playing lights out, Chris Browns right Dallas Turner, them boys playing lights out, defensive line playing lights out, linebackers playing lights out, secondaries playing lights out. The defense is defensing right now. Before we go any further, though, please like and subscribe to the channel. Welcome to Nick Saban Jr. Sports Talk TV. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm on my car right now because I'm picking up my uh, future five star son from seventh grade football practice. So, I'm waiting on him to get done, and I'll be heading out. So, I'm deciding to do this video right now. But please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what y'all feel about this game, score predictions, and all that. But, Arkansas, coming to Tuscaloosa. Whew. One of the things y'all been struggling with this year is penalties. Offensive line penalties. Same as Alabama. But, whew. It's going to be loud in Tuscaloosa. How can you how can you fix that? I can say offensive line. Y'all giving up a lot of sacks. Giving up a lot of sacks. Alabama getting a lot of sacks. Defensive line be playing lights out. And offensive line for Arkansas, y'all need to figure out, find a way to fi figure it out. Because... The defense is going to get after K.J. Jefferson. And statistically, when you look at it, K.J. Jefferson is all y'all got. When you look at it statistically, K.J. Jefferson is all y'all got. Hopefully, y'all can put together a run game to make this game close, but I haven't seen a run game all this season from Arkansas. 
And I don't think it starts Saturday. I don't think it starts Saturday. Alabama defense has been playing lights out. We're calling turnovers. We're giving up, we're getting we getting at the quarterback. We're just playing lights out football. But Alabama defense is key. We 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 haven't given up the big play as much this year since the Texas game. We haven't given up the big plays as much since this game. And Arkansas, y'all haven't been giving any. Y'all haven't been creating big plays. Y'all haven't been creating creating big plays. And the best thing to me, what I see from y'all, is y'all pass game. And KJ Jefferson, you going to want to be careful playing against the Alabama secondary. You're going to want to play, be careful Passing it on Kool Aid side, on whoever plays cornerback side is that uh, this game. Hopefully, Terry on. I don't know. Hopefully, Maverick Carmore will be back, whatever. But regardless, you don't want to throw it around that secondary. Caleb Downs there. You don't want to throw it in there because they're vicious back there. The ball hawking. No fly zone for Alabama is officially back. Offensive line, you're going to have to give them time. If you don't give them time, I think I've given up like 16 sacks. We didn't got like 21 sacks. Deciding the game, they are uh, be effing up <laughs> on the O line. But overall, KJ Jefferson, you're going to have your hands full of this game going against this elite defense right now. But let's talk about Alabama offense versus their defense. Uh, one of the questions is, what is Alabama identity? What is Alabama identity? Hell, hell, I don't even know. But I can tell you this. The way Alabama is playing offense this year, it got teams guessing. Because now you don't know what to expect from Alabama. You just put up a game against Mississippi State. Jalen Merrill threw the ball, threw the ball 12 times. 12 times. We ran it like crazy. Then you come against Texas A&M. You get 320 on one passing yards. Well, hardly no, maybe 60-something rushing yards. So, if you're a defense, you wonder how do I attack this? Now, let me talk about Arkansas defense. Or we'll say, Arkansas has a good defense in front seven. They have a good defense. That defense causes turnovers. They're forced turnovers. I will say that. That's the plus about Arkansas. But Arkansas is known that we'll give up the big play. And Jalamiro is a, oh, he's a beast with the deep ball. He's a beast with the deep play. Big play. So, Jay, Jermaine Burton last game, he's proven himself to be wide receiver one. But also, the couple of him, you had Isaiah Bond prove himself that he could be 1B. So now how do you take? I say, dude, go for what you know. Because y'all do get after the quarterback. I will say that. Arkansas gets after the quarterback. But so did a and So did a and So what would be the game plan to attack Alabama? I just say... Line up, cross your fingers, and hope for the best. Because if we can get a run game going, they can be dangerous. If not, Arkansas gives up a big play. They know they give up the big play. And now you got confidence in Miro. You got a lot of confidence in Jalen Miro coming in this game. Now he feel, feel he can pass. Now he's been running the ball real well. How do you want to attack him? Do you want to contain him, keep him in the – how do you want – I don't know. Because he can take off for the big play as well. You get. You always have to account for Jalen Miro's legs. Last year, he ripped y'all for like a 70-something yard run, I think. It was a big run, I know that. He still has those capabilities. Now he's a threat with his arms. Uh, I would say – 
Arkansas can hope for a, 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 a force fumble, a scoop of scores type thing. That's the, they say best bet against Alabama. Um, I will say historically, Arkansas has played their stuff. And I will say, the guys that played this year, they lost, but they played tough games. So Arkansas can provide a tough game. I think the spread is like 19 and a half, 20 points. That's a very high spread. I will say. I will say that's a very high spread. Um, out of Arkansas, though, I really don't see much out of Arkansas. I see this being a KJ Jefferson so. Uh, our defense continue to trend up. I see for Arkansas, when I say KJ Jefferson show, it's not all what you think. I think he's just the only thing they got right now. Hopefully, Rocket Sanders can come back and start come come out and run like the running back. Everybody expected him to be this year, but if not, Arkansas offense has a long day. I don't think they have enough to pull out this win against Alabama in a homecoming game. I think the defense would be too much. I think we will cause more turnovers. Continue to uh, plead our case for being one of the top defenses in the country. Um, I got this game being 34. 17. Alabama Rose. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Roll tight. Salute to everybody. And I'm out.